Are you ready to install this four hour timer with me? Let's do it. I turn this to the side like that and I'm simply going to unscrew this but before I unscrew it I'm going to look at this really close. Okay, the black wire is coming over to this screw and this screw is a gold screw. You may not think anything of that but check it out. Here's the white wire and that's under a silver screw. The ground wire is under a green screw so the green screw is always for ground the silver screw is always for the neutral wire which is the white wire so white and silver go together and the gold screw is for the black wire when you look on this over here the black is on the right hand side the white is on the left hand side so if you look at this I don't know if you've ever noticed this before see how long this side is this side's longer than this side right ground is, at, is always at the bottom or generally always at the bottom and this left side which is the long side is the neutral side you look on the side sure enough the white wire and the silver screw is on the left hand side so we know that's the neutral side and the black side which is the power side is the shorter one and that's with the gold screw okay hope you followed that if you want to look at that little video section again, go back and listen to it one more time so it makes sense to you. Because once we take this out, we're going to have to rewire this. and We want to make sure that we rewire this in the correct way, right? Before I take this out, let's talk a little bit more about these wires. Okay, I said these wires are coming into this box from the circuit breaker okay so this is the power well when we put our timer in we've got to have these power wires um, hooked up in such a fashion so that the timer is hooked up first so these wires somehow have to get to the timer location first then the power from the timer has to come back over to here so we've got to rewire this a different way okay but ultimately when we hook this plug back up it's going to be just like how it is now the black side over to this side and the white side over to the left hand side with the silver screw it's going to be hooked up just like that okay okay so just go ahead and unscrew this And this black wire is rolled over and crimped down tight. Well, I can cut that off and uh, rework that. Or you have to get a little screwdriver in there and bend that. But I don't have to save the curly Q at the end. I can make a new one. So right here, I'm going to take a pair of dikes. These are electrical wire cutters. I guess dikes are a little different, but these have kind of a point to it like that. Okay, so I can get right up in there and cut that off. And in fact, I can go ahead and do that. I'll turn this around this way, like that. And I can go ahead and do that right here. I got, I got plenty of wire to work with. Okay. Now I can come down and undo these screws and uh, pull these little ends off of there. You can see there, there's enough wire in there. Not a whole lot of extra wire, is there? There's enough to do what I need to do, okay? 